Hey guys, Chico and Jerry with He Provides. Whoa! They're working on the roads. Um, we just ran out of good paper. We are on a pick. Um, our daughter-in-law works home health care and she works for, for an elderly woman who has a daughter that's about my age who's trying to sell off a lifetime's worth of stuff. They've moved, it's in the garage, it's in the barn, it's in the basement, it's, it's everywhere. So, as this woman was telling our daughter, daughter-in-law about it, she said, you know, do you know anybody around here that's interested in this kind of stuff? My daughter-in-law says, told her about us. So we made arrangements. We actually just came down to look around and get a feel. And, and because we just met this lady, we didn't want to whip out the camera and, and start showing her life on YouTube. So we didn't whip out the camera. But we bought a few pieces. Um, and we'll show you the pieces when we get home. We think it was a great haul. Um, it was good for her, it was good for us. And we've made arrangements. We're going to go back and do probably at least one more pick. I got to do a little research on some of the items um, that she has. For example, hubcaps. I don't, I don't really know much about them, but I know there's a certain amount of collectability. So, but it's it, nice folks. We had a good time. Other than it being 90 degrees, well that's 91 now, other than it being in the 90s and high humidity, we had a great time. So if you guys like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up, share the video all around. It would really help us out if you'd hit that little subscribe button and ring that little bell. We'll be back in a little while and show you what we bought. Hey guys, it's actually day two of our pick. Um, we got done with our pick. It was a long, busy uh, day yesterday. Uh, we got a lot done. But we got home from the pick. We actually went to a local restaurant, Porky's. If you guys know about Porky's, give it a thumbs up. Porky's is awesome. And they have a sampler. Um, it's ribs, quarter rack of ribs, pulled pork. You can choose pulled pork or pulled chicken. I, pull, I usually do the pulled pork um, and briskets and two sides. Yummy, yummy. So anyway, we called it in because we were like 25 miles from home. We called it in on our way back, drove into town, picked it up, came home and ate because it was already in the evening and we were hungry. By the time we were done eating, we were so full and so tired and so whooped, we just left the stuff in the van. Don't know how well you can see it. I'm going to pull it out or I'm going to try to pull it out. Jerry's at work and I, I'm here by myself. But got some great stuff. I can show you a couple of things that are that are light. Um, ball jars with the lids and the glass tops. We got a good buy on those. Um, we got two of the half gallons, two of the quarts. And then we got some of these big ones. Um, but like we got a, one Presto, one ball, and one something else um we got some kids books jerry got this not sure why i bet it goes on top of our cabinets to replace some of the stuff i pulled out to put in our yard sale this weekend so i'll be back in a little bit i'm gonna try to get this all pulled out and i'll show it to you be back in a minute hey all right i got these lovelies it's metal in great shape. The bottom, sh this next to the bottom shelf, it's bent just a little bit. They had a, a set of encyclopedias on the bottom two shelves and that next to the last one bent a little from the weight. And there's just a little bit of a little crease right here. But it's in fantastic shape. It needs cleaned up and it actually needs restored but I'm probably not going to be in the restoration business. I'll clean it up and I'm going to sell it. Got those ball jars and then that other big glass, clear glass, was I got a Presto, a ball. That's the Presto I already showed you. Here's the ball. And then I got a Hazel Atlas. 
Got some great kids books. Love books. But Mike Mulligan and the Steam Shovel. And all of these books are top notch. No writing, no dog eared pages, no tears. Um, but Mike Mulligan and his Steam Shovel. I read this when I was in grade school, like first, second grade. Gus and the Baby Ghost, George Goes West, Harry the Dirty Dog, and some of these books I read to my kids when they were little. And Dr. Seuss Sleep Book, it's not as clean as I would like, but I've, I've never come across the sleep book, and I've collected Dr. Seuss books as long as they're in excellent shape for years. Love Dr. Seuss, and I think it's a big help for mankind. Got this beauty. It is heavy duty. The drawers slide absolutely perfectly. It's got your little towel rack here. Check out that pull. No dents. This beauty is amazing. The legs are solid and they're reinforced. There's a round pipe that goes in the corner of each one of those legs. It is sturdy and I, I love this piece. But, you know, I don't get emotionally attached to stuff, um, or at least very rarely. So, I'll clean this up, and this will all be for sale in a few days. Um, I'll, I'll come back. I'm going to do a comparison video on some stuff. It, it's been viewer requested, and when I do that, I'll, I'll do an update on these as well. So, the lady, the ladies where we made this pick and these purchases. They were awesome, they were sweet. Um, and we're gonna go back and make probably a few more purchases. I gotta do a little research. So that's it guys, thanks for coming along. I wanted to share our pick with you. Tell me what you think. And, and tell me what you think these pieces, these two pieces are worth in your area. Cause you know, I live in Southern Indiana. Um, our, our per capita income is fairly low. So what are these pieces worth where you're at? And do you like these pieces? I love them. Godspeed, guys. We'll talk to you soon.